Okay, in this video, I want to talk about how to attack with Brimstone on the map Bind. Um, I want to do a couple of videos on all the maps and talk about Brimstone a little bit because I've been sort of uh, forced into... I, didn't, I wasn't really interested in Brimstone at all when this game came out, but I found his utility to be incredibly useful, and I find he's nearly essential to most teams, and not many people are dying to play him. I guess, you know, they want to play the more exotic abilities, um, Brimstone having his three smokes. They're very reminiscent of just normal utility from a game like CSGO. Three smokes, his molly, and then his uh, stim beacon. Stim beacon being a little less useful, but the molly and specifically the smokes are just essential to pretty much any team as far as I'm concerned. And I found even when I do play with the brimstone, I was constantly complaining about not really getting much out of their utility, especially the smokes. Um, so in this video, I just want to go through a couple of ways to attack and be dog. sort of the... Uh, I'll show them just how what you say the in-game leader of your team if you're in a pickup game um you know these may not be the exact strats the ways you play in a no competitive game with a full home. five sack team but here i want to talk about how as a solo player you can hop into a team and kind of try to nicely take control and ask your teammates to do things and make pushes with you that are have been really successful for me in game you still have to have the gunplay you still have to have the mechanical skill to out out shoot the enemy team but these are some ways that i've found it's incredibly easy to just push right into the enemy's team and plant the bomb so this is going to be how to attack on bind i hope you guys enjoy Got so the first thing i want to do is we're going to start with an a push this is really simple and easy uh, this also kind of applies to a lot of pretty much all the maps you can do something similar to this but um the the goal is going to be to get a line of sight on a or push into a certain location or whichever bomb you're planting that you want to plant and then use your triple smoke or even double smoke to smoke off some of the key sight lines to allow you to take presence on the point and get your team set up into places that the enemy isn't going to expect you to be very quickly in pub games i find it's really easy to overwhelm the enemy with aggression now that doesn't mean running and shooting but it means acting decisively i find this in uh, with all the characters as well don't waste your abilities don't always sit on them on defense you might need to do that a little bit more but don't just sit on your abilities like use them when you see an opportunity you use them with purpose have a plan going in so um the first thing i like to do on this map if we're pushing a assuming this is a full buy round we have ars and all three of our smokes stem beacon is not particularly necessary though it can be useful in the final fight on the point what you want to do is i'll ask three people to come with me right here where there's going to be a line here we're not going to be able to pass this before the bomb um before the game starts i'm going to ask three people to push the showers with me which is going to be right here most people call it showers it's called a bath in the um, game but it seems to be picking up with showers and then we're going to have our other two people push through here onto a short on my mark so but the thing is we don't want them to just push they can push they can try for picks but if you ask them to just watch a short the rest of you are going to push through showers we're going to walk right into showers jiggle peek it a bit make sure nobody's in the showers and grab your little beacon if you want right here and as soon as the showers are clear right here assuming they're every once in a while someone likes to push up through showers go ahead and take them out it's a 3v1 you shouldn't be losing that if you know how to shoot um then i'm gonna immediately say i'm gonna communicate with my team too because this is what's important about playing brimstone is that he acts really well as an in-game leader so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say i'm smoking right as i pull this up i'm gonna smoke off the first line of sight from their spawn onto the bomb because this is where we're gonna want to plant the bomb right here and then i'm going to smoke off the tower i believe it's called a tower so i'm gonna hit the bomb and the tower so there's probably going to be some enemies right up here someone's probably going to be playing in this area that's where you're going to want your your boys over here that are pushing through um a short to take care of so i'm going to drop those down. smokes and then we're going to immediately check we're going to burst out check our right every once in a while there's a guy hanging out right here you can kind of adapt to that you'll see if the team wants to do that and there's probably going to be a guy around here but if when i smoke you go ahead and ask your a short team to move say everybody move in take place on point you're going to go straight in here if you don't see anyone, start planting the bomb. As your A short players, 
planet. As your A short players come in, they're gonna be able to pinch this guy and hopefully win that gun gunfight. There's probably not gonna be two guys there. If so, you're gonna have three guys spreading out, in which place you might wanna have one of them take up over here so they can cover the point. Over here is usually a little bit better so they can cover that A short and that U-Haul look. And then you can go ahead while your smokes are still up, you can move right around over here, check who you haul, check the store. You're gonna be set up for success here. Now, as you're taking up a defensive position, trying to set up on point, the goal here is to get set up in a way that the t other team isn't going to expect you to be while your smokes are down. So you wanna move quickly and you wanna grab your frags and then chances are, chances are the enemy team has sent one or two guys to A and they've got one or two guys at B and then there's a floater who might be at A or B. So when all five of you are pushing through here nice and decisively, it's gonna take a second for the other team to rotate around from B. So that's when you wanna take up your defensive positions, everybody spread out and hold some angles. And what's gonna give you the massive advantage here is the fact that the other team isn't gonna know where to look already because all these smokes are up and then you've already taken position without them seeing you. And if, if so, you've already got the frags. So from here, you're just gonna hold your angles and try to win out the gunfights. And if you only use two smokes to push, you're gonna be able to, uh, you're gonna be able to use that final smoke as the other teams are rotating around, you can drop a smoke here, you can drop a smoke here. All you're doing is buying yourself time at this point with the smoke. Um, you're cutting off sight lines, but you're also just buying yourself time while the bomb ticks away. That's gonna force the other team to have to act aggressively. They're not gonna be able to slowly, methodically come in and take you out because you've already bought time. The bomb's already down. You've already had some gunfights. They're trying to locate you. They're trying to communicate with their team. Hopefully you've got a couple frags and they're in a massive disadvantage state. So that's kind of how you want to attack on A. From there, you need to win your gunfights. You need to hold good angles. And the thing is, you can't just push the exact same every time. Sometimes it does work. Sometimes you just always win the gunfights. You can push it until your heart is full, but um, you can mix it up if they start to adapt. Another smoke I like to use, sometimes I'll use a triple smoke when I come in here from A when we're pushing. I'll use this, if, if I catch somebody one of the rounds, if I lose a round or die to him one time, if I catch somebody hanging out right here, I like to sit right there and wait for you to walk out. When you're doing your smoke, you can go ahead and burn your triple, put one here, here, and put one right here. That's gonna force that guy to move, he's gonna panic. It's rare that he's just gonna sit in that smoke. If he's there, he's gonna start moving out. So from there, you can get a better angle on him while he's moving, he will be a little bit flustered. And if you move decisively, which like I said, that's the key here in all these attacks, is you want to move decisively. I mean, the you can't play timid. Every once in a while, you'll need to play a little bit slower depending on how you're adapting to the team, but you don't want to play timid. So you have that smoke, you come right around, you pop that guy, or you can walk right through the smoke. Chances are he's going to move directly over here. Like if he's sitting up on this box right here, he's going to he's gonna rotate right around here if that smoke comes around. So you can expect that. If you know there's someone there, you've got three people coming out of showers, you can rotate right through your smoke, burst out of the smoke, and gun him down. So that's kind of how you can attack A. You can mix things up by going through A short sometimes. You can mix things up with a smoke on A short right here. Um, you can smoke them right here as well if you want to use your triple smoke when you're coming out of showers. You can hit the, the normal smoke. That's the, that's the most important LOS. And then this is the second most important LOS because they'll often are going to have someone hanging out in the tower. And then you can drop your third one like right here. You can drop it. You can even drop it, stack yeah. them right there. And that way you can walk directly onto the point for free and at that point you're spread out right here you've got a few guys right here they might they might be forced to walk into that smoke but they're just gonna eat shit when they do so assuming you're hitting your shots you have a couple of people lined up here they're not gonna be ready for this so that's kind of how you want to push on a those are some ideas that i had the basic principle here is that you want to smoke off the important areas the important lines of sight and the thing here is that you know they can wait out your smokes or they can go through them or they can try and go around them. But what you're winning with here is unpredictability. So, and you can change things up slightly, change up the angle you go from each match. You know, if you win a couple going this way, they're gonna try and prepare for you. That's when you wanna switch over and do a B attack, keep them on their toes. But if you use this and they react to it, the thing is, if you're not doing it exactly the same every time and you're changing up your position, they're not gonna know what to expect. So when they're trying to break when all these smokes are here or a whole team set up, they're having to check every angle. They're coming out of over here. And they're going, is someone in U-Haul? Is someone coming out of showers? There's probably a guy sitting around the point. There might be one here. You could have already, depending on if you've wiped a couple of their teammates, you could already be up in tower. So 
there's a lot of a lot of options here and um this is just how i think you should think about the game and especially attacking and playing brimstone because like i said i think he is such a great in-game leader that if you take control and ask your teammates don't be a jerk ask your teammates to help you out say hey can we send two a short and three in the showers and most of the time they listen people are actually pretty nice to me on this game and even in solo pugs from what i've been help so like just ask them to do this and then just call it you know use your comm say ready Smoke's, down. smoke's going down and then you go out and you say push a short push a short i'm planting i'm planting take the point and your teammates will try to do that now they they still have to win their gunfights but they'll have the element of surprise on their hands and a solid decisive push you don't want your pushes at least on the regular to be these like slow i'm just gonna peek these angles look around hope for a pick you can outgun people that way but against a team that's paying any attention or if your team isn't let's say amazing gun still gun skill players you want to out with these people so that's how you want to attack on a 